We're back with Snailiod and the correct mic this time. Yeah. They went ahead and found a place that I hadn't been yet. Apparently I can open super missile doors now. I don't know when I got that ability. Maybe the Devastator got it to me? Maybe? Why couldn't I kill that moose? I'm killing you, moose. Are you a NPC or something? Moose! Get over here. Okay, I'll stop shooting you. Just come here. Oh. Well, I'm... I'm gonna assume that that's something I'm not supposed to kill. Oh well. Can I open those? Yeah, I could open those before super missile doors. Fire. Let's save here for no reason. On a side note, I really wish the controls were more closely packed together. Even though the M, you know, the P key makes sense for P, for pause, and the M key makes sense for map, it'd be nice to have them all at a glance. Or at all at a same area. Though for some reason he's using the WADS keys. So, I guess he couldn't just use... I was thinking he could just do ASD, but if he's going to let you use WADS too. Oh hey, I can go up those corners now. Though, that's kind of irrelevant because I can just use the gravity reversey nausea inducing thingy though. So that's always fun. Oh, I can break those now. Did the devastate did the devastator allow me to do that or what? It'd really be nice if you were a bit more clear with what stuff does what. Ah, I was wondering. Yeah, it looks like our attacks visually got a lot bigger too with the devastator. And oh, dang. Yeah, it looks like our other weapons got to power up too. Not sure why you would use them at this point, but you can, and, well, that's about all there is to it. Maybe it's like Metroid, where you know you gotta switch between the plasma beam and the ice beam, because they're jerk holes, and they don't let you just use both, because, I mean, honestly, how difficult would that be? But, that's another story for another day. Uh, where are we? Oh. That's like the most useless shortcut ever. Why is that even here? Well, that is an even more dumb shortcut because it takes me through friggin' spikes. Oh, hey, a boss door thingy? That means there's a boss somewhere around here, right? Though, not according to my map. Unless. I guess let's go down and see if there's stuff in the downward direction. Yeah, here. That's what I'm talking about. It's purple door. Ow! Okay. Let's be careful this time. Nom 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 nom. Murder? Yes, murder. Helix fragment! That makes the murder less murderous and painful. Okay. Be nice if I could see where I was going to. But, since I can just crash through, that's pretty much what you forced me to do. I get that you're trying to be like, oh, you can flip over onto this and then flip onto whatever, but I can't see. See, I know you can make that jump if you're all tricksy like but I can't see the jump, which just leads me to crashing through the freaking level, which is unfortunate for both me and the developer, who I'm sure carefully laid that out so it's possible to jump through like, wee, and all not getting hit, but since I can't freaking see where I'm jumping, the only real alternative is to just crash through it and hope you do okay. Which you really do, because it's not very painful anymore. Sneely was dead into the pain. Uh, let's go to this area here. I can't use my mouse. That area to the bottom, a little to the right and down. I guess that's maybe open to me now? I don't know. We all. Why did you reverse? Yeah. Oh well. At least getting around this game is really easy. Whoa. Oh no, I've already been up there. Metroidvanias that make it hard to move around the map and use a bunch of uh, backtracking. That's not fun for anybody. Yeah! I thought I could kill you now. Well, actually, I forgot you were there, but... Yeah, I can kill you now. So there. Helix Fragment 15. 
Did I try to use the rainbow thing on him before? And if that's the case, you really, really, really need to let me know when if the Devastator is necessary to, like, break new blocks. I really should know that, because I can't just guess. Oh, I got some random power-up. I'll try shooting doors that didn't work before with this same weapon that I had been using that didn't work. Because, oh, look, it's bigger now, so it must open new doors. That doesn't, doesn't make sense. But anyway, I'm Gravity Snail, so boss thingy? Oh, high jump. What's the point of high jump when I frickin' hacks everywhere? I'm like composed 90% out of hacks at this point. And what's up? Whoa. Oh, okay. Well, let's see where we can go. Well, there's a... Th yeah, we're gonna check out that last thing in the pink area. Giggity? Question mark? Yeah, hopefully there's something. I mean, I don't. I haven't encountered anything yet that I can't access with the, this attack power, except for the boss doors. I think I can go anywhere I want. Ow! The gravity sometimes is weirdness. Also, that is also weirdness. Oh, yeah, I needed super missiles to get in here. What? Hacks! How are you not dead? What the? What? He's freaking teleporting! Hacks! I call hacks. This is... Get, are you a boss? What is this? I'm gonna kill you. You are so dead. Yeah! I killed him. It's completely pointless, but you know what? He's... That is weird. Yeah, if you jump while holding the arrow keys, weird things happen. Anyway. Looks like we've explored all of the pink area. Looks like we have almost everything. We may have one more weapon. Or maybe an extra shell and a weapon. There's one or two spaces there, depending on how much white space they decided to put in. Which, by the way, you should really have more concrete uh, rows for, you know, weapons. Like, I currently have three. You can make it more clear that there's more weapons, if you wanted to, by having clearly defined slots. It looks like there's two more weapons there because of the white space, but you can never be sure how much white space is there just as white space, or how much is there because there's actually supposed to be something else there. That jumping is so weird! I'm holding two directions, which is probably why it's being weird, but it's still weird. Okay. I guess we go up to Snail Town and into the black area. I have to remember the names for these. See, I, when I jump, when I'm, I'm holding left and up, but I, when I jump, I try and fall right. It's, it's weird. Also, that was weird and vomit-inducing. Oh, and somebody said there's a snail here that tells you what your weapons do. Hey, Snaily, let me give you a hint. What? Hacks! How can you do that? I just... that was like the last thing I found. I think you're lying. Is this one of those games where you know you're supposed to sequence break and be all badass and stuff? It makes the map big, yeah! Okay. A devastator that opens up green door- see? What? <sighs> that is ridiculous. Also, how was I supposed to know that there is this snail here that tells me what weapon I have? A de oh, he doesn't even he doesn't even change dialogue when I change weapons. Also, I wonder how strong these are now that they're upgraded. They're probably still useless because they don't, you know, harm as many enemies as the rainbow thing he does. Nothing destroys evil quite like gigantic rainbows shot out of a snail. The other snails live in houses, but I live in dirt. Didn't I talk to this guy? I thought I've been to this map thingy before. But it showed up as undisplayed. Oh well. Are you cave snail, Thorgle Borgle? Up, up, down, down, left, right. No, it doesn't do anything. I just thought I would check and see if it did anything. Doesn't seem well, too. Oh yeah, it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, dude. Perhaps adolescent freakishly deformed 
not Ninja Turtle. Which is really one of the worst super groups, superhero groups ever. Hacks! I broke the thing. I'm sorry. I broke the what? 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 That, that's just wrong. That's just wrong. That is just wrong. I take offense, good sir. I take offense and beat you over the head with it for plus d4 damage. I don't know what I'm talking about. So, we got a helix fragment, that's the important thing. Now let's go, whoa. This wise. And see what is over this wise. Yes. <laughs> Stupid ant screw bit, whatever you things are. Things. Yeah. Ah, I think I needed gravity to get up here or something. Did we, like, fall into a frickin' shoot em up or something? Wait, what? There's nowhere to go. What is this? There are balloons shooting pink donuts at me. Actually, actually oscillatingly colored donuts at me. So this is looking like final stage area stuff, but I don't see where I can go. Um, lame. Lame. Why would you do that? And why can I stick on the ceiling that is invisible? Lame. That's, that's all I have to say about that. Oh well. Oh well, can I, yeah. That's what I figured. Oh well. Really wasn't that hard to figure out, though, so. These things are oddly cool for, you know, compared to what the other enemies have been so far. The little things that shoot the little things at you. The ones that I'm murdering right now. Yeah, they look pretty cool. What's in here? Um secrets? Ah! Why are you full of why are you full of lasers? I guess I'm full of lasers as well, but still that seems unfair. Of course my ridiculous weapon is incredibly unfair, but So are there 20 of these? 25 of these? 30 of these? 800,000 of these? I don't know. How many? Oh, I should probably get health. There's a pink one. Pink noms are the best noms. They're nomtacular. They're nominally delicious. They're... No, I can't think of any other puns. Hey, buddy. Snail. Moon snail's just ahead. He brought us here. He's gone bad. You must defeat our mommies. We're... We're in space. Have we been in space this entire time? Like, this whole... Yes, we have. I just noticed that we're in space. Hold your breath, kids. So, I assume Moon Snail is down here. There's another snail. I suppose there's exposition. Moon Snail is still a snail. He was once known as Sun Snail. Enjoyed nomming on grasses. Well, that has me convinced he must be good at heart. Let's go cleanse his heart with rainbow lasers! If only you had the power of Isis, she could restore the light once he's defeated. Oh, so we've got a multiple endings thing going on here. Where we gotta get the stupid helix fragments and turn the bad guy into a good guy and, and everyone's happy again and we don't get to murder anyone and stuff like that. Take this heart. You'll need all the help you can get to defeat Moon Snarl. Hope he doesn't moon us because he's moon snail. Dude, I don't know if snails even have butts. So I don't. I don't know if that's possible. They must have something with which to excrete things. So, nom. Anyway, what what am I missing? I'm missing some stuff in the blue area. I really don't care enough to go look right now, though. So let's murder moon snail. Yeah. His health bar is pink. Oh, he's got the black stuff. Black versus rainbow. It's like... I don't know what it's like. But my lasers erase yours. That's, like, kind of cheap. That may be necessary. I don't know. 
these bana hey stop homing in on me wait are you doing opposite jumps to me or something no no he's not you're not very tricky though moon snail you change colors you're like tan your desert snail now he's no longer moon snail I think he's just trying to turn red and pissed off boss mode, but he just looks a bit too different. And this is really not very hard. It was just kind of weird. Honestly, the game gets a bit too easy, but at the same time, complex maneuvers in this game were, would be really weird. Especially since you're a snail. Yeah! Oh, that's that's a bad thing. Oh God, it's freaking gigantic! Hacks, run! He's doing the jump rope thing. You know it's a final boss when you're playing jump rope in a video game. That's how all the final bosses roll. Playing jump rope with deadly weapons, but it's really still just jump rope. So this is, I was going to say, the last the last boss really required a bit too much quick movements and stuff to escape, but this one, this is more manageable for what's going on, for how you control. Of course, it doesn't do much damage, which is a problem, but oh well. And this could really move quite a bit faster. But maybe it does! We haven't reached the end of the fight yet. And his rainbow waves are kind of weak. He definitely needs to be faster with the... ow. Things. The little jump rope thingy. I swear, a very good percentage of video game bosses must play jump rope with you. The jump rope of death. Death jump rope. Oh, he turned into desert snail again. It's all like angry face, and he's like z z z z z. Are you regaining health or whoa? He shot snores at me. Doesn't even make sense, but I'm still offended. Hey, you look, you look pretty angry for a guy that's like sleeping on the job. What a dumb butt. Whoa. See, that's more like it, but still fairly easy to dodge. Stop sleeping. You are a lazy butt face. See? Keep doing that. That is less lazy butt face than this, but you're still pretty easy. Oh, I almost died. Huh. I didn't even notice that. Victory! Yeah! Yeah. And so... Stars flew in the background. Defeated, Moon Snail lost his powers. And that really hurts my throat. But we didn't have Isis power. So we couldn't make him Sun Snail, probably. No, he just became Lazy Butthole Snail that sleeps on your couch or something. I hate that kind of snail. He's like, I'm too lazy, I'm just gonna be like, Burr. We all know that kind of snail. Nobody likes that kind of snail. Spiky. Baby fish. Starring Float Spike as himself. Blob Blob, Angel Blob, and Devil Blob. Chirpy. Batty Bat. Fireball and Ice Ball. Secret Snelk. Who couldn't, we couldn't frickin' kill. And Kitty! Ghost Dandelion. Cannon and Non... Cannon? Snakey. Sky Viper, Spider, Spider Mama. I don't even remember there being spiders. Gravity Turtle, <laughs> Gravity Turtle, <laughs> Cherry Red Finish, Jellyfish, Singathadia. What? Tallfish and Angry Tallfish, Walleye, Pincer and Sky Pincer. Oh, they were pincers. Need to catch one of those and turn evolve that into. Wait. Pincer doesn't evolve, never mind. I'm thinking of Parasect, and I'm not sure why. Shellbreaker! Creepy foot eye boss that's really screwed up in every possible way. His name is Stompy. That box kind of guy.
That's like, yeah, I'm a space box. Space box in space. Coming to movies near you, never. Moon snail. Giga snail. Snaily snail. The snailiest snail that ever snailed. Sluggy slug. What? I don't remember that. New starship smell. Salmon. I don't remember killing these things. Atomic. Created Flixel. I don't remember shooting any of these things. Well, that's Aura Plane. I guess I probably shouldn't shoot the creator of this game inside this game. That would be rude and but hilariously ironic. The end. <laughs> As to whether I'm going to go back and get the Helix Fragments, I might take a look. If I do... I don't know what I'll do. I guess I'll take a screenshot every time I find one. We're missing 30% of the items? We played for an hour. We... oh, still going. There's more sp room stuff. Yeah! Oh. Snaily, search for the Helix Fragments. Once you have them all, find the Shrine of Isis. There's a Shrine of Isis? Where... what? what? Oh. Huh. Oh well. Where... okay. So, aside from obviously hidden area, well, not obviously hidden, aside from actually hidden areas, there's two more rooms at the least we can go to, so I'm going to go check those out, and maybe I'll post another video.